Hey guys, what's up? Uh, just before we get into the editing process, um, I just wanted to quickly show you how you get to 1 48th of a shutter speed, uh, whether you're on 24 frames per second or 25. Um, so as you can see, if I change the shutter speed, you cannot achieve 1 or 150. So just double tap on the screen, go to the movie tab, and go to image fine tuning down here, click set, go to shutter fine tuning, and just rotate the valve to the, towards the left until you achieve 1 48th of a shutter down here. Alright, you want, you want it to be as close as possible to 1 48th without it going to 1 47th of a shutter speed. So just keep fine tuning it. And I'll leave it there. So now if I double tap and I go into the exposure, so as you can see I've achieved 180 shutter degree angle and 1 48th of a shutter speed. Um, and that's how you achieve it. Um, you can change it to whatever shutter speed you like using that setting. Alright, now let's go check out how I edit my videos and export them. Right here I have a .mlv file that I've recorded. Um, I think I recorded it a day ago or so. So if I drag that onto MLV app, and there it is. Now that was recorded with a Nick or Vintage lens, um, that's why it looks quite vintage. Uh, it's a bit overexposed as well. Um, but these are the settings. So if I go into the settings here, my codec is Apple ProRes uh, 4444, uh, FFmpeg, Costia, Force, Maze, and now resize. Here is the gem. You can resize it to 4K if you like. Um, if you just want YouTube, you know, just normal standard videos, you can go 1920 by 1080 and that's fine. Uh, but just for my short films, I've been doing 4K. So 3840 by 2160. So I've been exporting this way and I've, you know, really been able to achieve sharp results. Um, it's amazing how much information raw um, files from the ESM can achieve. And let's see, export audio, make sure that's on. And that's it for that. Now for the editing part, I have a receipt that I've constructed. So if I import that receipt, it's called a film preset. I'm gonna give this guys to you um, in my, on my Google Drive. So if I click that and click open, you'll see the magic take place. And there you go, automatically created. So if we see what I've done, Chroma Smooth is on five by five. If you take it off, you get fo uh, focus pixels and focus dots. So you definitely want to click one of those. Um, raw white level, this is actually really important. You know, if you get pink highlights, you probably can't see them, but if you do get pink highlights, um, all you do is change raw white level to 15,000, and that takes care of all the white highlights that you get from, you know, clipped highlights or ex overexposed scenes. Um, exposure, you can bring it down or up. So these are settings I've used for my short films and they've worked really well. I'm really happy with this. Um, clarity, it's up to you. You can leave it at zero if you like, but then you get like sort of jagged edges. Um, so tend to bring that down a notch. Uh, vibrance, you can change these if you like. So these are my settings, I'll give them to you. So all you have to do is uh, go up here, click edit and import receipt. And then you just load that. Uh, sharpen is always on 100. If you don't, you know, do 100, it looks blurry and it looks like you shot at 720p or something, or shot with a toy camera or something. Uh, film is what I'm using. Uh, there's all these other ones. Um, I've also been using linear, but this one's a really tricky one. If you click that, look at that. Your whole image is pretty much destroyed. Um, but linear is really good. Uh, that's what Ari's use uh, back in the 80s or so. Linear raw. Uh, I've been working on that one. And it's been going pretty good. Um, I'll be sharing that in the future. Uh, but so far, film is what I've been using and I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, hue versus saturation. If you lift that up, you can see, you know, the yellows and the skin tones is just really off. So I tend to bring that down to a neutral level and it just looks nice. Um, let's see, if I go in hue and just click on the yellow and in between, you can change the hue of your face. So if you want to get natural skin tones, instead of it being yellow, uh, just bring it down and then you'll get a nice, normal looking organic skin tone. 
Um, and that's about it. Just one more thing, enable LUTs. So if you guys, you know, want to play around with this color, if you want to use your own LUTs, you can. Just click enable LUT. Um, I've also made a conversion LUT for you guys. Film Rec 9 to Alexa Log C. So what it'll do is it'll convert this footage over here to a log. So you can play around with colors in post. And there you go. So you can export it like that. Or you can just export it like that and then you'll have to apply Rec 9 LUTs. Uh, so that's the process that I use in MLV app all the time. And that's the final clip that I'll drag into Final Cut Pro X. Oops. Oh yeah, my settings for Final Cut. Alright, now I'm gonna Alright, now I'm gonna show you my settings for Final Cut Pro. So if we go into here, I go 4K, always do 4K timeline. Um, frame rate 24p. If I shoot 25, then I'll do 25. Um, rendering, I use the codec Aperos 4444. You can do 4XQ if you like, uh, nothing wrong with that. Uh, to make sure you got 48 kilohertz, because that's what your ESM or Magic Lantern camera records with. Um, and it's better quality. So click OK. And then what I'll do is drag this file that I've exported to here. And now if I want to export that, all I do is click Share, Apple Devices 4K, Settings, Better Quality, H.264, Resolution is at 4K, beautiful. And I just click Save, and then it just loads. And that's pretty much my editing workflow. Um, nothing too sophisticated here. Um, I also don't tend to, you know, um, over color grade this. I just like to leave it natural and organic. So that's my editing process for Magic Lantern Raw. I uh, hope you got something out of it. Uh, make sure you check the description where I'll leave the link for the receipt as well as the conversion lot. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.